up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Well, right now it's just a blank backdrop. Hmm, what backdrop should we use today? While we figure that out, let's take a trip to Target. While walking down the aisles, I noticed that there are so many mini brands in the store right now. Mini brands retro, mini brands fashion, mini brands Netflix, mini brands home, and more. So I picked up a few so we could do a top 10 mini brands for dolls. And when I say dolls, I'm pretty much talking about one six scale. We are in our miniature food court because this is a space where we often use mini brands. For me, I collect mini brands to use them with my dolls to add more detail to my photos. So today's video is based 100% on my personal opinion. And I would love to know your favorites in the comments down below. Starting at the bottom of my list, I have mini brand sneakers. What are my reasons? At $7.99, I don't feel like we get a lot in this capsule when compared to other mini brands. If you're a miniature shoe collector and you're buying miniature shoes online, then $7.99 per pair could be a deal. In the capsule, we get two stickers, two bags, one with a pair of shoes. Looks like we got a pair of Airwalk slides on a shoe hanger. And in the other bag, we have a hat. Many of the shoes are not easy to fit on our 1-6 scale dolls without some help. However, this pair is, so it's not a great example for why it's at the bottom of my list, because I can easily fit them on a Ken doll. However, they are a little long on a classic Ken, but not too bad on a buff Ken. But for me, it still just feels like I'm getting a pair of shoes and a hat, because I don't count the stickers. Next, we have Mini Brands Books. At $7.99, there are 40 plus minis in this collection. I love, love, love miniature books. And these are books. But for me, Mini Brands Books have been difficult to find. It's another Vampire Diaries. I don't think I had this one. I love all the details on the cover of these books, but only a few of the first pages are readable and the mini bookmark counts as one of the surprises. I think books are a fun way to decorate a doll room. Huh, I don't think I've seen this one before. They're just a great way to add detail and clutter to our doll spaces. But not being able to find them easily at my local stores led me to making a ton of my own inspired printable books many of which you can only read the first two pages. But I love making my own books because we're still getting that dollhouse clutter, it's less expensive, and I can get the books that I want. Then we have Mini Brands Home. This one really surprised me. I thought they were gonna be a new favorite. I mean, Mini Brands and Home Decor for $7.99? Yeah! But there's a little matter about scale. While we are getting super detailed minis, they are a little small for our 1-6 scale dollhouse. In the comments on our video, many of you said that you're still going to use the appliances as mini appliances for dolls who don't have a lot of space. And I did notice that some of the items can work for our dolls, like this food storage container, which we could totally use to store some leftovers in the dollhouse. But for me, some of the items are just a little too underscale. We got more magazines. But I did find that a lot of the furniture items work great with mini dolls like Barbie Extra Mini Minis and even Calico Critters. So it's not our preferred scale, but I do like the idea of decorating for our Barbie Extra Mini Minis. So I'm looking for some furniture pieces. However, I do get a lot of doubles. So let's open one more really fast. I'm hoping for the lip couch or other pink chair. In the first bag, we have, ooh, it's a pot. This one is a new one for me. Then we have a food scale. We've gotten this one before. A rolling pin. This one's a double. And 
a tiny little desk lamp. We could probably use this in a Barbie room. This is a new one for me. And this one feels like a furniture item. Oh, really? It's the bean bag again. So yeah, doubles or triples. Up next, mini brands Netflix. This one is fairly new to the shelves. It is also priced at $7.99. And the only reason it's not higher on my list is because I would want more Bridgerton and Emily in Paris minis. If you don't watch some of the shows, then you might not know what some of these Netflix inspired minis are. Like for me, this item from the series Rebel Moon. Then we have a hat from Stranger Things. This item does not fit my 1-6 scale Barbies. And this is... A mask from Squid Games. It's also a little small. Here's a smelly mini. And I know that this is going to be the pizza. Yep, but this one does fit with our Barbies. And our last one is a teapot or coffee pot from Bridgerton. See, these, I need more like these, like matching cups. Up next, retro mini brands. These are also $7.99. And we're getting five retro minis. I personally am very excited about the retro tech items. We got a can of pineapples. For the most part, many of these are good size for the dolls. Yes, I needed another one of these. Then our next mini is a mini from Revlon and... Kodak film, which I think will be really cute for a doll who likes to take photos. However, I do think this one is a little large for our 1-6 scale, but we're totally using it anyway. And then we have a video cassette, which is a fun mini for me. The scale does vary a little, but overall not too bad if you like retro minis. As we keep going up our list, we come to KFC mini brands. These were also $7.99, and a pretty good size for our 1-6 scale dolls. It's just a pretty small collection with 20 minis, so the chances of doubles are pretty high. Here we have mashed potatoes and gravy. And since I don't know a lot about KFC, I don't always know what the items are. Well, I can tell that this is a wrap. I really want to see those biscuits. I've never been able to find them. We got some sparkly chicken nuggets. Is today the day we will find those biscuits? I got a bucket and this uh, sandwich. Yep, and it comes out of the wrapper, which I like. But since I have a plant-based diet and my dolls do too, I pretend like these are chickenless chicken. We're down to our top five, with number five being Mini Brands Series 5. Here we get a variety of minis that I can use to stock my miniature stores, like our grocery store where we can use bowls of ramen. I get this one a lot. And chocolate cake. However, this is just a box. And a box of Fruit Loops. These look great on the shelves in our grocery store or in the dollhouse for a little breakfast scene. And here we have a container of mints. Now I do think that this is a little large. And our last one is, ooh, a mini hot glue gun for those crafty dolls. At number four, we have mini brands, Disney Store Edition Series 3. These are some of my favorites because we built a miniature Target. Well, mainly the toy section, but I like using these to stock the shelves. And since they keep coming out with new series, we can keep switching them out. So our store always has something new. And I like the look of having more than one item on a shelf so I don't get so upset about doubles. And this is a puzzle with real puzzle pieces inside. So it's not an empty box. However, I mainly want the Disney princesses. Ooh, I got Stitch. But I like how this series also has books and this one's a double for me but i don't mind but i would like to see more disney princesses and here we have venom okay coming in at third place we have foodie mini brands 
Series 2. These have been out for a while, but they are perfect for our food court. We get five minis from a variety of restaurants that I think are pretty much perfectly doll sized for our one six scale world. And they have pretty good details. However, I do wish that they were all made to come out of the containers. This series has a pretty nice variety of products from lemonade to a big dinner box from Pizza Hut. In second place, I have my mini baby. What? Toya, how could you put this in second place? Yes, I have gone completely mini baby crazy, and this normally would have been my first place. However, wait, let's open it first because I'm just too excited to see which baby it is. Please be a bouncer, please be a bouncer because the bouncer is the only one that works perfectly with our one six scale world. And we got the crib, which isn't terrible. And some of you say that the size works for a small cradle. I just personally wish that all of their accessories were one six scale. And that's why my mini baby is at second place for me. And our little baby is, Aren't you adorable? Let's open the other bag, which gives us a mattress for the crib, a diaper for the squishy baby, and we have a little blanket. I have bought quite a few little mini babies, and this is definitely a deal at $7.99. I've paid about $100 or more for some of my silicone babies. And while I do wish that every baby came with a diaper, I can learn to make my own at this price point. Cause that little face is so stinking cute. And now we have come to my number one favorite mini brands, Mini Brands Fashion Series 2 with 80 plus minis. Not the one that says 60, the one that says 80. These are $9.99. They've been out for a while. I am eager to see a Series 3 because I think these minis look so good with our dolls. First, we get a bag that can fit our dolls. Ah, no, I got the tote. I get this one all the time. But it's a very easy bag to customize. You can embroider some flowers for spring or maybe even a little pumpkin for fall. Then it comes with another bag of accessories that usually match. We got a hat that can fit the dolls. We have sunglasses that we can fold up and they fit the dolls. And we have little shoes that sort of fit. Well, for the most part, but I find many of these minis easy to just mix into our doll world to add more detail and more fun. So there you have it. My top 10 or 11 favorite mini brands. Let us know what your top 10 are in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us for another top 10. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.